and welcome back to EVE Online with me, Mark from Dadex, Furia, Severus and her lovely Catalyst. There is currently an event going on called The Hunt involving the Garistas. Uh, we are going to participate in it. It comes in kind of two stages because the first thing you've got to do is track down a capsule that will be somewhere in the system. There may be more than one in the system. Kill the capsule. It will contain a key and possibly the corpse of a dead as in a DED informant. You then have to find the site, which you may have some competition for in high seconds we'll look at. Get on the site, clear the first room that we'll find of all the rats in there, then if you've got the key on you, you unlock the next gate, you go in, you have a one-on-one -on -one with a loot ship frigate. And uh, provided you survive all of that, there's a chance for some very nice loot indeed. So, First things first, we're going to go out and find some capsules using the D-Scan. We're only going to look at a very kind of basic level of use of the D-Scan just for this because this is all you need to do this event and this is all you need primarily to keep yourself safe when you're out and about and do some basic hunting. Stage 2 of D-Scanning is to use it as a preliminary for scanning down with combat probe somebody who's randomly at a safe or on a site. But we'll look at that another time when we look at some uh, detail of combat scanning down people you want to go and murder basically anyway let's get out there and scan down some of these capsules okay we're out here in a catalyst this is just a general belt rat and catalyst in case i come across a clone while i'm out here i'm in low sec it's just quieter in high sec everybody's looking for these capsules and these keys as you can see there is a mysterious white capsule showing on my d scan basically your d scan will display whatever is showing on your overview settings i'm about to adjust them the first thing you need to know to find these is that you need to tick this here irregular capsules or you won't even be able to see them let alone find them and I'm also going to switch on moons because this one isn't at a planet I usually don't have moon switched on because you can see there's a lot of them a lot of clutter so now we're going to adjust the angle down on the D scan to five degrees we're going to click on there on the overview press C to track to it and V to scan and we're lucky we seem to have hit the right moon the first time now you can just repeat that until you find the one it seems to be at. These do move around, so it might not be there when you get there, or it might suddenly disappear from your D-scan. But once you're on grid with it, you just kill it. They're very easy to kill. Remember, you do need DPS. You cannot scan these down with combat probes. I have tried in my fully skilled alt for scanning in a tricked out buzzard, and you can't get them with combat probes, or I couldn't above 44 percent you can kind of track them around the system and see when they land near something that you can warp to but in a buzzard then you've got no dps so you can't deal with it yourself anyway so d scan is definitely the best method to find them so now i'm just going over to this asteroid belt as you can okay. see it's over 20 okay. au away and the d scan range is 14.3 so i'm going to go over there and just do a scan from over there just to check that side of the system, it's something to bear in mind. You do have a limited range on your D-Scan, so make sure if you want to check a whole system that you're moving around. Every ship in the game has the same D-Scan. No skills, no modules, um, no hulls affect it. It is actually probably the only level playing field in the game when it comes to like Hunter and Hunted. Anyway, we've come over here. There's nothing there, but I just thought I'd point that out just to remind you. Now, we found another capsule here in another system. We've just taken him down. But I just wanted to illustrate and share with you because this can be quite a frustrating chase around. So we're going to look for where this other one is. Now we've got a pink one popped up. The colours seem to be irrelevant. The, the keys that you pick up out of them don't mention a colour. I'm not sure why they've got colours. Maybe somebody knows. Give me a comment if you do. There is a worm in this system. I'm assuming he's probably up on the site that is in here doing it. So I'm going to do the same process here, basically. I think it's probably over there. I've used the range to narrow it down. To, it's between 10 and 14 AU. So the two variables on your D-scan are the range and the angle. So you can just use the range on a 360 degree scan to figure out that the, uh, the capsule or whatever you're looking for is say 5.7 AU away if the summit 5.7 AU away on your overview then you know it's probably there so here we've got the infamous pink capsule I've not seen many of these I've seen these capsules on asteroid belts on moons at planets 
once at the sun and i have seen wrecks outside structures now that guy's just despawned he didn't even warp away so even while i was trying to get on him he's just despawned i've seen them warp away before and you can sometimes even see where they go but there you go that will happen it's not you you're not mad they'll just disappear completely from a system for no apparent reason other than that and to open your d scanner when you're in space you press alt d or it's the right hand option on the scan button on your console and whether you're looking for these capsules you're checking the asteroid belt before you go to it when you're ratting or you're looking out for destroyers coming to gank you d scan is your friend learn how to use it and use it so we are heading into the site now in the belt ratting catalyst fit got ion blasters we've got a micro warp drive we've got an armor repair we've got a weber i've only done one of these before this and i'm just seeing how it goes i know there is an issue with this fit it will be addressed but i think i can kind of address it just by not running the micro warp drive so as soon as we're on grid we are getting mobbed we're getting ecm we're getting web we're getting pointed and we're getting neutered and last but not least scrambled so the micro warp drive wouldn't run anyway but we basically just need to ride that out we're only using null ammo in the tech 2 blasters it gives us a range uh, fall off of about 8100 meters void is just too short range because these are going to kite us at between four and six thousand meters so uh yeah just stick to the null and plug away get the armor rep running as required and we're just keeping an eye on the cap i'm still sure we may be a little bit cap pressured here depends on how we get on when the new ships spawn you really need to prioritize them it's going to vary from fit to fit and depending on what weapon system you're using but I would definitely say the primary targets for me are any ships that are neutering me. I've just bookmarked a wreck up on the site just out of habit, just so I know I've got one. Sometimes there are more than one of these event sites in the system, and if you need to warp off for some reason, you need to know which one to walk back to, don't you? So we're just next wave's coming in now. And they come in so quickly, there's no opportunity to faff about with ammo types or anything like that. So yeah, null. You're one and only solution and it's working we're taking them down we're managing this okay so far it would seem anyway i'm not actually moving which probably isn't the best thing to be doing although these waves once they go down the dps you're getting off each wave drops quite considerably and it's one of the things that you learn over time is judging how much dps is incoming and when you need to run basically and i've got a bit of experience at that especially playing in low set getting into fights so yeah i may play a little bit braver than some of the guys that have only played in high sec somebody once said that i play pve a bit like it's pvp and i guess that's kind of right and of course there's an alpha skill fit at a reasonable price and if you learn to get the most out of this and uh, where the boundaries are it's always going to stand you in good stead as you learn to play the game and i'm running pretty low on capacitor here as i say i've thrown this fit into this site don't really know the site very well just see how this fit gets on then use what we know about the game to figure out what we need to do to change it to make it a bit more of a comfortable experience i think many of you have probably already guessed what the solution is um, I've not run the micro warp drive once in effect I've got a spare mid slot so I'm not going to give any prizes but we'll talk about that when we get there for now I've gone off basically to recharge my cap that was the problem there was no issue with the uh, tank and the DPS and blah 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 but then dilithium crystals just couldn't take it so here we're back we've got a caracal amongst this spawn I'm going to go for the corax first I'm thinking which is going to give me the most DPS to be honest with you the quickest I've messed about with the ammo there because for a moment I had a little brain fart and thought I had rail guns, but I obviously don't. So we'll just forget that bit. And it's all kind of going okay. Nothing scary. Doesn't matter how quickly your shield goes down in an armor tank ship. It does freak me out when I forget I've switched to an armor tank ship sometimes. I've even been known to hit my armor rep as soon as my shield starts going down. But we're working way through this little crowd. None of these ships individually, again, as, as is the case on many PV e sites um individually they're pretty flimsy i mean these aren't as flimsy as your average belt rats these are kind of up to the standard of what you'd find around an fob they can catch people out i know when they engage fob garistas frigates and uh, suddenly get their asses handed to them 
the loot i did have a little check around as you can see it's nothing spectacular it's just some bits and pieces you might want to drop an mtu i don't know that of course is your decision to make anyway we are now morphing into the last room it is just us and this little dude here he is going to come in fast and furious i preheated my guns just in case i'm going to get the repper going pretty much straight away maybe too early i've turned it back off <laughs> what did i say about getting freaked out we will actually kill him pretty quickly fortunately all of these last frigates that i've met they come in and try to close in on you very quickly if one of them kited us in this fit we'd probably die but we've made it so let's go and see what we get i've already heard the loot is quite variable on these sites but look at that we've got 93 million 70 ish might be more realistic i think the kinky boots are overvalued there the implant gives a one percent bonus to drone uh, repair amount and the 18th tier overseers they're worth a good probably 40 50 million themselves so we'll take that but this was my very first attempt so i'm going to show you this because it, there's a little point to be made i don't know for all of you i'm muted out here i am mashing the f1 button because sooner or later that capacitor gets a bit and i'm going to nick it for my guns before he can mute it off me so don't give up that's the point of this little clip mash the buttons if you all else fails i can't warp i can't do anything i only just miss out if i could have got maybe three three shots into that cormorant i could have pulled that off i bookmarked my wreck i'll come back and get what's left there you go it sometimes it doesn't go right learn from your mistakes but never give up you never know when the other guy is going to run out of ammo or cap or something or maybe just sense okay the one modification has been made the micro warp drive is gone we have fitted a compact cap battery into that mid slot so let's see you can see how many more slices of the pie there are in the middle we'll just start setting about them and see how we get on i'm making a point wherever possible to prioritize the guys that have got the newts running on me just keep moving slow boating around and just take them down as they come in but i'm feeling much more comfortable with this knowing i can just keep that repper running and running and running it's not infinite so of course i have shut my repairer down because we're back fully 100 percent armored i'm now closing in on the orbit on the acceleration gate even though it hasn't unlocked yet the reason is i've become conscious of how slow this ship is i'm in high sec there's competition whether that was my spidey sense or not i don't know but anyway let's get on with this way for now all nice and manageable come on guys it's kind of nice that they just come to you Saves all that dashing and rushing about. And uh, blasters kill them quicker than anything else I'm going to be able to fit to me catalyst. So, uh, brilliant. This is all running at two times speed, by the way. Not the four times I usually run the site footage at. Because these sites are so fast and furious. That would just make them last about a minute. Anyway, we are cracking our way along through this site. Waiting for the next spawn. Closing up my orbit on that gate even more. And look at that, right on cue... Turns up a guy in an assault frigate, a retribution. Now, what's he going to do? I'm very wary of the fact that he's got a much more powerful ship than I have. And he can probably kill these and get through that gate, assuming he's got a key quicker than I. But at the moment, he's taken the aggro. As you see, nothing is now hitting me whatsoever. And uh, I'm just kind of a little bit at his mercy. I can't hit the rats. He's pulled them well out of my range. And I'm going to let him know that in local because I'm not quite sure what his intentions are there you can see him getting all of the iwa all of the aggro and me sitting here in a very very slow boat unable to do much about it um it's quite interesting because obviously in low sec where i play mostly if people come up to onto a site that you're on you've got a choice you run or you fight them for it here it's just it's more i don't know battle of wheels who can get there quickest i've had people get into sites and chase down the loot ship and grab the loot just as i'm completing it but then i found sites where people say a narcotics warehouse that has been completely cleared but he didn't know where the loot box was and i've got a daredevil blueprint for free so it's all swings and roundabouts and eve karma but we're making progress and he has left us to it so thank you very much diego saratori you are a gentleman of high sex so i'm just going to crack on with the site look i've got five of them newting me here 
but my cap battery can handle it. I can guess you can say I got a little bit of a rest there while he was taking some aggro, but I don't think anyone could say that was decisive on the, on this site, and it's running. We've got a blackbird amongst the rats. Oh, well, and look, we've got a new friend in an Ishtar. What's our friend here going to be? I'm now close, right on the gate. I'm ready, basically, as soon as this gate unlocks to get through it. So, uh, there you go. I'm ready. I'm ready to click buttons. It is a race as far as I'm concerned now. I need to get through this gate. Bye-bye, poacher. I've no idea if he's going to come and try and grab the loot, but I'm not taking any chances. So, yeah, my little precaution of noticing how slow I was and that I really wanted to get, uh, you know, around that gate ready to jump through paid off. Here again is the last guy who is not going to present us with too much of a challenge because we're ready for him. I don't think I even heat my guns up for this one. The web, the guns, oh, I do turn on the overheat, but I think that is probably a little bit superfluous. We'll get the reps running. I don't know why I turned them on and back off then. But uh, we'll take him down. Oh, and here comes our little interloper. So luckily I'm close. I'm still a bit worried there. Am I going to get there first? But I do. And the loot isn't magnificent. I'll talk about it a little bit in a moment, but look, he's yellow boxed me. He's locked me up. He's hoping that I panic, lock him up and fire, at which point I will get concorded. So I'm not, you know, I, he's not doing anything evil. It's part of the game. Be wary of that. If you're in high second, someone targets you, don't freak and target them and start shooting. They are duping you. It's a trick I pull on gates in low sec to get the gate guns to aggro on the other guy. I guess if you've got your safety switch to green, you can't make that mistake, but I always fly with it on red or I get stuck sooner or later. We've got a Heba Saitsu ballistic control amongst the loot there. That's quite good, especially on Gila's because it will boost both your, uh, I believe it's drone damage and missile rate of fire simultaneously. He's worth about 15 mil. The skin we got is about 10 mil and the overseer's personal effects we got there. About four, so about 28 all told. Okay, we'll have a very quick run through the fit I've used. It is basically the same fit I used in the Tech 2 Catalyst clone hunting video, with the exception that, that should be turned on. <laughs> We've got the compact acid cap battery. You could go Tech 2 cap battery if you wanted to. That was just what I had handy. It adds a fixed amount of capacitor bonus, 132 gigajoules which in our case is probably about 17 18 percent so um it seems to be just enough not having the prop mod is just not an issue and it's also saving cut by trying to speed around what's the point of being quick when everything else is quicker than you anyway yeah so there it is it, up the top we've just got the blasters i've gone for ion blasters again just to make the fit a little bit easier on the power grid primarily uh, neutron blasters are heavy on the power couple of rigs in there to boost the effectiveness of our armor repairer the two nano auxiliary nano pumps one hybrid burst aerator and if you remember that's the one that simply ups the rate of fire it's not raw damage it's one or the other if you if you play with them in the simulation you'll find the dps will vary by one or two probably but uh, i've gone for the rate of fire magnetic field stabilizer two of course to put up the damage damage control two and down here, we've got the small armor repairer too, which is uh, the thing that kept us alive. I'd recommend going for the Tech 2 version. The meta would probably do it. I've not been under too much pressure there, as you've seen. It was really the capacitor. We've sorted that out. No need for a prop mod. Happy as Larry. That's the cost of the loot. Let's take the loot out of the ship. What have we got in here? Too many catalysts hanging around here. We'll take all... No, we won't take all of it out. We'll leave the key, because I don't think that even shows the value. No. So that's the stuff we've just got there. So, fit says 13 million, probably a little bit more. More than worth it, as you've seen by the loot we've been getting. Now, we'll be back soon with some more videos within the next couple of days, because the event doesn't last for long. Tomorrow, we're going to look at some other ships. Cormorant, maybe the Algos. I've never seen so many Algos around in my life. I've heard it's almost the AFK way of doing it if you've got good enough skills, but let's see what an Alpha can do. And then anyway, I've got time. I'll get out there with one of the Amigas and a Kikimora or an Assault Frig or something. We try and bash one of the VIP sites because they drop some crazy loot over in Kaldari Losek. 
So um, for now, I hope that's been useful. Have fun, get rich. Uh, it can be a little bit infuriating chasing them capsules and it can be a little bit infuriating with people racing for you full of loot, but uh, keep you cool. It'll all come together in the end. So leave us a like if you've liked it and it's been useful. Any comments, please feel free. Any picture been using you want to share with me in game, there's a character name in the description. Feel free, I might well try one out. Subscribe if you want to get a notification. Click that bell so that you're on the list. Fly safe, have fun. Remember, Eving is believing. And for now, take care and goodbye.